have this huge sack of mail here and it gets piled up on me so fast it's ridiculous um, so and of course I always throw out the junk mail as soon as it comes in so this is just stuff I need to go through and um, I thought you would join me <laughs> thank you for joining me anyway so the whole flirting dating thing pretty funny topic huh yeah I can really come up with them I'll tell you um, interesting thing you know I haven't actually left the house this week <laughs> so um, I, you know it's all just kind of a fun topic at the moment um, so I've been home and been working been kind of in an interesting mood um, like cleaning organizing that kind of thing and keeping myself busy so it's all good um, and you know the one person that I really wanted to flirt with kind of blew me off this week so <laughs> that, there you go well or put me on hold maybe a better way to say it so anyway um, oh but I do have a date tomorrow night <laughs> well a dinner date I should say um, it's with somebody that I used to date years ago uh, probably I don't know three or four years ago and his new wife so it turns out how ironic is this it turns out that um, his wife is interested in affiliate marketing so she was doing some research online and who would she come across? Me, of course. Um, and my life is so public. <laughs> my mother says your life is only as public as you want it to be. Um, I don't know. My life's pretty public. Maybe I want it to be. So anyway, long story short, um, he got in touch with me. And um, of course, he, he told her, oh, you know, I used to go out with her or whatever. And um, so we're all going to have dinner tomorrow night. And I thought that would be fun. I look forward to meeting her. And I'm sure we'll be talking business, which is how dates or dinner dates or lunches or anything typically go for me anyway, but it's, it's going to be fun. It'll be nice. It'll be good. Um, <clears throat> and I'm good with that kind of thing. You know, I don't, um, you know, I'm not going to look at it like um, in my face, you know, another relationship that didn't work out. He, by the way, was the one um, I was telling you guys about that um, decided to put himself back on the market without letting me know because I didn't ask him out. Which, I, one of my guy friends I was telling this story to recently said, you know, in this day and age, women need to step it up. They need to, you know, be the ones to be asking guys out too, or, you know, whatever. And I'm just not that forward. <laughs> I'm just a little bit too old-fashioned, probably. Is That's probably one of the main issues with my dating. So, um, you know, but I've gotten a little bit more forward lately. Um, last few years, you know, as far as saying what I want, you know, what I would like to do, that kind of thing, uh, doesn't actually work out for me at all. So, you know, in the, in the past, in relationships I've had, um, when guys say, well, what do you like to do for fun? And I, I put it out there straight up. I like to do this, this, and this, and then those things don't happen. Um, or in the last relationship, the last guy that I dated, I should say, um, everything that I invited him to do with me, he turned me down you know, or just kind of blew it off or whatever. <clears throat> and then in the end said I didn't include him in my life at all, that I shut him out um, of, you know, doing things with me in my life or what have you. So it's very confusing. This whole dating thing is very confusing, which is why staying home and opening the mail is much more fun <laughs> sometimes. Anyway, speaking of which, okay, so, um, <laughs> it's funny, postcard from the dentist. All right. So yes, I just tossed that in the floor. There's not actually a trash can down there, but we'll deal with that later. <clears throat> Alright, so, um, good stuff. Gosh, there's so much mail. Man, I don't even know, like, how to deal with it. Um, anyway, so, you know, as far as the whole flirting and dating thing, it's just a fun topic for right now. Like I said, not something I intend to follow through on. Which reminds me, um, on Facebook, we were talking about this. What, was, what am I doing here? This is, this goes on. Let's put that there. Um, so, oh, look. Do you see my mug? It's my Valentine's Day mug. You see that? Yes, it is July. <laughs> you know, actually, um, who got me that? Um, who gave me that, I should say, is... Um, a guy that I dated from Australia. Yes, from the other side of the world. Now that was a fun dating experience. <laughs> I think we only really dated for a few months. Um, I maybe stretched it out a little too long, like to five months, but it was really only good for the first few months. And um, 
I have no idea what happened there, so I wish I could give you some good juicy story, but it just kind of, you know, trailed off or whatever, ran its course, I guess, on his end, not mine. So that, by the way, is the reason I ended up going low carb, <laughs> because, um, well, you know, after, after we split up, I kind of um, gained a lot of weight. <laughs> This does not need to be in the video. Um, yeah, but it is. Okay, so yes, because um, I don't know, you know how it is when you're in recovery and sometimes, well, if you're a foodie, you know, then you can just like <clears throat> have a date with dinner instead of a dinner date. <laughs> so there you go. All right, so anyway, so yeah, I get rid of some junk on my desk. I'm actually, I said this already, I think, really in the mood to do some organizing and rearranging. So in the next video, wait till you see what I rearrange next. This morning it was the back deck, but uh, wait till you see what it's going to be next. You know what? I love this thing, by the way. And Cindy Brock, every time I open my mail, I think of you. <laughs> this is the nicest gift. You guys are super cool. Oh, I was saying something. Oh, oh, back to the whole, I was saying on Facebook, the whole, um, <clears throat> you know, topic of dating and flirting in the videos, um, the last couple of videos or whatever. And David Frey called me a tease. He said, flirting for a response rate without a conversion rate makes you a tease. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I, and I say whatever with a smile, David. Anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, junk mail. Uh, so yeah, it's just, you know, it's just one of those things. It's all talk. I'm all talk, no action right at the moment. <laughs> Maybe that does make me a tease. Only if I leave the house, which I haven't. So, and of course, no worries on my date tomorrow night, right? Because we've already established that uh, <clears throat> there's no interest there, I suppose. All right, so, I don't, you know what? This is junk mail, not even worth opening. I really despise opening mail. I really, 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 really do. And it's, oh, I'm dropping stuff. Slim. <laughs> so my cow. Anyway, um, yeah, what a pain in the butt. <laughs> um, where was I? Oh, yes. And so it's interesting though, the whole dating thing. Slim! Slim! As if there's somebody here. I didn't order a pizza. <laughs> Nobody else ever comes by. Slim! Come. Here he comes. All right, so anyway, um, yeah, the pizza man. Pizza man, does he bite? Of course. <laughs> He's a dog with teeth. <laughs> anyway, um, where was I? Oh, so the whole conversation on Facebook. Yes, very nice. Um, compliments are very nice. They were very nice and they made my day. Coffee would be better than compliments, but that's okay. <clears throat> so, anyway, you know what I've actually, um, I mean, there are all kinds of people I just mentioned, you know, I dated someone on the other side of the world once, um, but I have friends all over the world, so I travel, you know, to hang out with them and this, that, and the other, and it made me think of um, when, oh gosh, this was many years ago, like a decade ago or something like that, and I used to play Pinochle online all the time, love Pinochle, big card freak, and, um, oh, was like, gosh, I would love to find somebody local to play cards with. Hello, ding, 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 are you out there? Because <laughs> I've been in this town eight years and haven't had a card game here yet. Anyway, um, where was I? Oh, yeah, I flew to Nebraska to meet my pinnacle partner. And that was a blast because my Canasta partners also lived there. And so we all met up and um, went out and we were gambling. We were playing slots on this boat, this traveling boat thing in Iowa or something. I'm not good at geography, but that sounds right. I think that's where we were. Anyway, um, so yeah, that was fun. Lots of fun. And so I'm not opposed to, you know, hopping on a plane for a coffee if I have to, because this town is pathetic. <laughs> I don't even know where you would go. You would have to get, like, you would have to get really creative for a woman like me to meet friends even, much less a date in this town. Um, I was thinking, you know, I would probably have to walk slim in the downtown area during business hours to meet the right kind of people. Of course, that's too hot. Slim and I would melt this time of day, so forget that. We'll just stay home and open the mail. 
All right, here we go. Oh, all right, that goes in this pile. <clears throat> just kind of sorting through the mail here, and I'm going to deal with that, whatever. And um, then I'm going to get back to work because work is good. Work actually has a good ROI, which stands for return on investment, unlike dating. And it may sound, I don't need this. So it may sound like I'm bitter. I'm not bitter at all. I'm actually, um, you know, just kind of analyzing some of my past experiences. And the interesting thing is, of all the crazy, weird, strange past experiences that I've had, you know, I was talking to my girlfriend Saturday night, we were hanging out, and I said, you know, um, I realize that I'm the common denominator in all of those situations. So <laughs> that's something to analyze, right? Hey, bud. This just walked up. Anyway, um, yeah, so <clears throat> crazy men. That's pretty much the history that we're talking about. So um, it's funny there for a long time, it seemed like everyone I dated you know, was had a job or um, seemed normal or whatever, you know, had their own place, that kind of thing. <laughs> At my age, it's kind of important. Anyway, uh, but then in the end, when things ended, it seemed like they were out of work and living back with their mother. So my friend um, suggested, she suggested that I should put that on my profile. If you want to go screaming and running back home to your mommy, date me. <laughs> I don't think that would be a very good call to action. Um, <clears throat> all right, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so much junk mail that's disguised as real mail. It's crazy. That goes there, and um, that goes there, and oh my gosh, no. <laughs> IRS. Yeah, nice. I. R S. I are not opening this today. <laughs> All right. So yeah, great, lovely. <clears throat> anyway, um, where was I? Anyway. Hmm. Oh, so yes, back to crazy dating stories. While I open the mail, I'm I'm so good at multitasking, but I'm very one track minded and. Like, not one of those people that can necessarily walk and chew gum kind of thing. <laughs> kind of clumsy. I went to my reflexology appointment this week, and she is like, you are all bruised up. Like, what has happened to you? You look like you've been in a fight with something. <laughs> Just clumsy. Just the corner of my bed. My desk, you name it. Um, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. They're just going to sell me more stuff all the time, hey? Anyway, um, oh, crazy men. So the question is, do I attract crazy men or do I make men crazy? <laughs> Stacy says it's neither. Just a lot of crazy people out there. And I would, uh, why would I get something from Global Pharmacy Canada? I'm sure this is Tanya's fault for being here. <laughs> now I'm getting chunk mail for Canada. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, credit card offer. Mm. An offer that shreds the competition. I think I shall be shredding this. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, I can file that somewhere. So yeah, it's all good. It's all in fun, you know. I mean, not everybody's a match for everybody. And that's, you know, I accept that. That's fine. And really, um, I'm not that interested in just finding somebody, obviously, because I've been divorced more than 12 years now. And in that amount of time, I have not lived with anyone or remarried. So, um, you know, could have if I wanted to, I'm sure. But it's not about just finding someone. Um, it's more about finding someone you can't live without. And there have been a couple of times when I thought I might have found that. And I was wrong. <laughs> So there you go. <clears throat> All right, more junk mail. And boy, do they disguise it well. Um, so that's it, really. You know, just kind of sitting home, hanging out, um, doing my own thing. I've been working out this week, which is one of my personal goals I talked about in my last video. And that's fun. So um, really, I'm having a really hard time fitting it into my schedule. Not fitting it in, because I have plenty of free time, obviously, because I'm sitting here chatting with you right now. 
but um, I have plenty of free time. Oh, I need to read that. But I don't. Okay, I'll get with that in a minute. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, working out, finding the time. Yeah, it's just about getting in the habit. So I like to multitask. So what I've been doing, I like, I, there's a TV show I've been watching. And um, so I use the gazelle and just put it in front of the TV. So if I'm going to watch, you know, a 45-minute episode or whatever, then I just put that in front of the TV and get my workout then. And um, <clears throat> so, God, there's a lot of junk mail. So I signed up uh, for a webinar on creating high-ticket products that Paul and Carrie put on this week. And, of course, I couldn't attend it on Thursday because I already had um, things planned for the week. And um, so, anyway, I'm going to grab my gazelle, bring it into the office, and watch the replay while I get my workout. So that's my plan. That's what I'm going to do. So that's that. And, um, gosh, this is reminding me I really need to go and check my P.O. box. Because, you know, there's... probably some good junk mail in there. <laughs> and I got my Cosmo in the mail. This is, yeah, August. So here's the August one. Um, let's see. Oh, wow. Wow, your man with these moves inspired by 50 shades of gray. <laughs> this is the hot issue. The confidence booster you can stash under your desk. I have a desk. All right. Oh, here's a good one. Turn him on from across the room. I'm going to need to read that article <laughs> for my flirt practice. I'm going to have to find an article about flirting from across the country, but that's not working out right now. So, pff, anyway. All right, so and then I've got a package here. Looks like a good book. This is a review copy um, that I just got in the mail. Apparently, this one just came out, so I'll be letting you guys know what I think of it. Yeah. Should be interesting because content's my thing. I actually have a book coming out on the same topic. So, you know what? Um, I actually thought about taking myself out to lunch today since I had to, you know, get showered so I could have this conversation with you. And you know what? I like to do that. I like to take myself out to lunch. I don't have any problem going out to eat alone. I have girlfriends that would not be caught dead at a restaurant by themselves. Me, I used to, um, what's the magazine I really like? Revenue. Revenue Magazine. And for some reason, I think. I, I didn't renew my subscription. I'm going to have to do that because it's my favorite magazine. I'd get it every month. And the day it would come, I would drop everything and take myself out to lunch and sit and read the magazine and have my favorite meal. Um, but yeah, I was thinking about taking myself out to lunch today, but I think instead that, um, that I think instead that I'm going to um, have lunch at home and work out and take a nap. <laughs> So there you go. This may, by the way, be the problem I have with meeting people the whole not leaving the house thing, that could be. Thanks for hanging out with me today and hope you guys are having a good one and have an awesome weekend. Like I said, in the next video, wait till you see what I rearrange next. I look forward to hearing your thoughts on it um, because I'm really in the mood. And then after that, I might tackle the bookshelf that's sitting behind you right there. <laughs> Maybe not. We'll see just how ambitious I am this weekend. <laughs>